Hey YouTube, Desert Knife Guru, and we're going to be doing a knife review. And what we're going to be looking at is going to be the Kershaw Amphibian. Uh, this one here that you see is going to be uh, 1990 from 1990. I purchased this. Uh, the only difference between the 2010 version and the 1990 version is the uh, sheath and accessories. Uh, this one here, um, which was purchased, and uh, the newer ones are a little, little bit different, and the value is uh, tremendous. This one is um, seven and three quarter inches overall length. You can see it's a uh, full tang construction. The blade um, itself is going to be three and three quarters of an inch. Uh, the steel, not sure about this one because I couldn't find the find it anywhere. But the new ones are uh, 420. J2 stainless steel. J2 being a uh, very uh, uh, rust resistant steel. The uh, weight on this one, blade, blade by itself, is going to be 3.2 ounces. Um, double edged dagger, uh, half serrated on one side, plain edge on the other side. Uh, I don't know if you can see that right there. Dual jimping, jimping on this side and jimping on this side. The uh, handle inserts are going to be a co-polymer insert, uh, very rubberized, really nice rubberized feel to it. Um, for a diving style knife, um, really, really, uh, really, really good grip, really. Uh, with the dual jimping and the inserts. Um, they did a really good job with it. I'm very pleased to say that um, it doesn't look like it's changed much from 1990 uh, considering it's the age that it is. Um, I'll show you the difference in uh, the accessories in 1990 versus uh, what you can get now. Um, back in 1990 you got purchased with this which is its locking sheath it's um, some type of polymer type plastic. Uh, when you put it down into the sheath, the, uh, there's a rubberized uh, same material as the handle that kind of drops down into the um, rectangular opening there for it to lock. And what you got to do is you have to push down with your index finger to pull that out. When you push it down, push it in, it locks in, and then you push down on that and it releases it. Uh, a lot different from what they offer now. Uh, let's take a look at the sheath a little bit. Uh, sheath is just a plastic, um, really nice drainage at the end. Um, opened up here for drainage. Uh, has the uh, Kershaw name on there, it's hard to see, black on black. Um, flip it over, basically it's just a real basic basic sheath. Uh, flip it over and it has the uh, belt loop and the belt loop um, has this little L-shaped notch there so when you put it on your belt and it snaps back down it uh, locks in there and it uh, won't slide off very easily. So a real basic uh, construction works really well. Um, not, the, not the easiest to push in, but uh, when it would be uh, wet, it would be uh, a lot different. But it uh, does release fairly easy. Um, so when, you, when I purchased this, you purchased it at, as you see, and then it came with this also. It came with this uh, leg strap. Velcro on one side, and then just a uh, adjustable buckle on the other. And this was just a uh, single adjustable strap to uh, strap this particular knife to your leg. And uh, just a real basic design. Uh, you'll see the new ones now. They come with um, dual rubberized adjustable straps. More of a uh, dive knife style. They've upgraded it. And the uh, sheath is going to be a Kydex sheath. 
so when the blade goes in, it locks in more of a kydex and has more um, um, anchor points on it. Uh, it's come a little, uh, come quite a ways since the 1990s. Um, MSRP is going to be uh, 55 bucks, but you uh, will be, we will be able to find it as low as I would say about 30. I saw it for about 30 dollars. I paid 1990. I think I paid about 47 dollars for this in 1990. Um, that was quite a bit for me. And uh, glad to see that it's uh, still going. A lot of different knives have been discontinued. Um, after purchasing the knife, I had it for a couple months. And I went back to the same store that I purchased it at. And they had a big bin of uh, stuff that they were trying to get rid of for a dollar. And I went through the bin and I found this. This is a Kershaw brand leather boot knife sheath for this particular knife and goes in there and doesn't lock in but if you were to put it down inside of a boot cowboy boot or something uh, that's what it was designed for but this was sold as a uh, separate separate product back in the day I don't even think they offer this particular thing anymore. Uh, real basic stitched and rivet design. But I thought that was pretty cool. Gives you an option when you can get uh, accessories for a knife. Different uh, options. That's always a good thing. But uh, there you see it. That's how it came. And uh, check it out on KershawKnives.com and you'll see the uh, new up updated version. Knife looks about the same but the sheath and straps, of course, are uh, quite a bit different. But uh, at a $30 price point, it's pretty affordable, I think, uh, for a uh, double-edged dagger um, wearing the uh, Kershaw name. Um, I know, I'm trying to think which one it is, but I think it's Mission Impossible with Tom Cruise. It's either one or two. You'll see the uh, toward the end of the movie, a bad guy pulls out a a boot knife and uh, it happens to be this particular one so anytime you see a knife that you own in a movie or something it's like hey that's pretty cool so uh, I just thought that was a neat thing I had to throw in there but uh, any questions let me know and I'll talk to you later thanks bye